switch and fuse. Let's consider switch. So for the switch, maybe trivial to you, but why we talk about that? Because we have the where, where should we put it? I've just underlined the switch should place on the live wire side, so that it can be more safe. But why? Let's consider the following figures. The left hand side is the correct connection. So you can see that the switch is on the live wire side. When it is open, so it cuts off the live wire to the electrical appliances. So only the live wire have the high potential, but the electrical appliances have a zero potential in that case. When the switch is closed, the light bulb surely light up. Then let's compare with the wrong connection on the other side. You can see that the switch is on the neutral wire. Then when the switch is open, the wire, live wire, and also the electrical appliances are at the high potential. So it is not safe to touch it. Because if there is any accident, when we touch on the high potential, if you still remember, we will get the electric shock. And, but you should note that when the switch is closed, the bulb will still light up. So the electric appliances still work in that situation. This is the magic of the location of the switch. So let's see the example 11, one. see whether you can get it correctly. Yes, the first two statements are wrong because the electric appliances still work, but just the electrical appliances is at a high potential when the switch is off. Fuse. You have learned it in the junior form already. There are a certain uh, common value of fuse. The fuse is actually a simple metal wire and so the symbol is also reflect this simple fact. It's used to limit the flow of the current to prevent overloading. And there is a metal wire inside which is thin and also have a low melting point. That means it can be broken easily, it can be broke easily. When there is short circuit, then the current will be very high. When the current is higher than the rate value of the fuse, then it will be broken. So if it is a 5A fuse, the current should be lower or equal to 5A. However, if there is short circuit, because the resistance is too low in the whole circuit, then the current will go up very qu quickly and it will blow the fuse. That means it will become broken. The fuse must be connected to the live wire so that it can be more safe. Once again, let's see what will happen if it is cor connected correctly and it is correct connected wrongly. Now for the left hand side, you can see that actually the current can blow. The current too large, then the fuse will blow. And after it's blow, then it cuts the live wire from electrical appliances. So the electrical appliances will keep at a low potential so that it is more safe because there is no zero potential at the electrical appliances in this case after the fuse is broke. However, if the fuse is connected to the neutral wire side, what will happen? Can it blow? Yes, it still can blow when the current is very high. However, after it blow, the electrical appliances is still on the live side, so it's still at a high potential. Then it is not safe for us to touch the electrical appliances at this moment because we don't know what kind of malfunction is happened there. That's why the live wire, the live wire should connect it with the fuse, and the fuse should be connected to the live wire side. 
Let's take that, this example. You can see that the fuse is wrongly connected to the neutral wire. Then what will happen? Does it affect its work? No, because the circuit is still complete, so it still work. How about the statement two? The fuse will still blow when the current exceeds a certain value, because the current can pass through the live wire and the neutral wire. How about the last part? It's true. Because the fuel, when the fuel is bold, the electric ion is still at a high voltage. So it's not safe for us to touch it.